If you want to know how to make a title, subtitle and title row command with colour, this is the tutorial to watch. It's quick and easy and I hope you enjoy it. To get started, place down a command block right here and we'll start off as titles. So titles, you type slash title or title as it is at all at player but at all is what you want to do if you want it on a server announcing something an action bar will look something like this so you start your brackets off with that curly one quotation marks text and quotation marks colon quotation marks so basically text and color needs a, a colon so you can actually know what to put if it's uh, bold it would look something similar but it always has an action of a true or false so text could be restarting like so and it in quotation marks and curly brackets and click done get a button click it and it'll come up as the action bar at the very bottom restarting and you could change this to an actual title so change this to title at the very bottom there we are uh yeah there we are, restarting. If it's in your way, you can do slash title, uh, uforce to whatever your name is and clear. It just gets rid of it in front of your screen. To add color to this, basically what you do is put a, a comma here, quotation marks, color, quotation marks. Everything is quotation marks, commas, col colons. Uh, it, that's just basically it. So this one's a colon. Um, quotation marks you need to add a color so i'm just gonna put gold and it in quotation marks again and it should come up in gold there we are to make it bold what you do is add a comma quotation marks bold quotation marks colon quotation marks true and another quotation marks there click done boom comes up in bold so you can do underline strike through and whatever ones they have if you want certain words, different colors, so if you want it restarting uh, at the very end, ing, you basically get rid of ing, so it's restart, you put a comma here, curly bracket, you, you keep have to put quotation marks, then text, if you could spell text right, and put ing, close that off, well, there we are. Then you need the color. If you want to change the end of the color to, let's see, gray. Uh, basically, since it's like this, you need to end, the, end it off with a curly bracket, but you need an actual bracket at the end if you're going to change the colors. So always end it with these. So it'll come up in uh, yellow if it's correct. Boom. Different colors. So if you want the same title and you add different brackets, you need to finish it with the full bracket and you can add different words, make it bold in that one title so it doesn't add multiple titles. So basically, since it's on your screen for a long period of time, you go underneath here, add a command block facing up. Uh, then you do title at all, at, yeah, at all timings, if you can spell it right, or times. And basically, you want a fade in, fade out, but in the middle, you need it how long you want. So 20 ticks is one second in real life. So basically, 15, uh, 40, 15. And you click done. You change this from impulse to chain. And there we are. And it will come up and come straight off. If I get this and change it to 400, now this is going to last a while. You'll see it will stay there for a while. Much longer than the other. Then you could just do uh, title at all clip. There we are. That's it. That's it for the titles and timings. Tell rows are basically the same. So you come in here. You do slash tell row. Then at player or at all. And you can do the same thing. Brackets. You know, quotation marks, text. Uh, just do hello, hello, 
then we can make this some type of color which could be gold as well. Gold's the new favorite color and you can just end the brackets like that. And once you put a button on in chat, and they just turn chat on, there we are. So it'll come up in chat like that. And literally you can make this sound like a person. So I'll show you how to do that. So if you want your brackets to be a certain color, uh, you can, it would just be something like this. You forced, if I could spell my name right, uh, bracket as well, click done. Click it, there we are. Then after that, that's when you can start your message. So test. Click it again, there we are. And to change test, you basically do this. Uh, make a space. Obviously at the beginning, you have to do that full bracket. Comma, squilly bracket, then text. Could be test. Obviously I missed a couple of things out. There we are, test. I'm going to add color, and the color is going to be green. Squirly bracket, end of the bracket, and here we are. There we are. That's how you do that, and that's the tell raw commands. So if you enjoyed it, give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Say